We're going to start at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, before I even met you. So we met in 2015 in the summer, in July. But I'd already been a photographer. I feel like I say that I began maybe 2014, but really it was more like 2013, 2012. Even before that, yeah. I've been taking photos as long as I can remember. It wasn't until 2013 that I kind of got a camera, an even better camera. It was gifted to me. I didn't buy it. It was gifted to me. It was a little Fuji X100, and I love that camera, and I miss that camera. Um, I was gifted that, and I actually went on exchange. So I was at a university in Australia, where I'm from, and I went on exchange to England, and I went to a university there for a summer. And during that summer, I had my little Fuji X100, and I would meet all these people, a lot of Americans actually, and I would take a portrait of them, just like without them even noticing, and I would show them, and it kind of spread around amongst the, the cohort that I was in of, oh, that girl Athena, she takes really beautiful photos, you should get her to take a photo of you. And it was when Facebook was oh, really big and everyone said, I want you to take my new profile pic. <laughs> that was what I did for people. And it's, apt, it's like amazing, even now in, what is it, 2019? Yeah. I look at these people's <laughs> Facebook profile pictures and it's the same. It's still my photo from yeah. 2013, but by the time I came back, I was really realizing that there's a power in portraiture, there's a power in showing people you are beautiful and to capture their humanity to who they are. Mm. You know, we were all really young. We were so um, excited every single day because we were at the University of Oxford. So it was so beautiful, so crazy. I came home and I began looking through different presets, learning more. I was asked to shoot my first wedding. Uh, I think I was paid $500. I didn't even quote that. There's yeah. no way in heck I would have quoted anything. Uh, but they said, look, we'll give you $500. I borrowed all of my friend James Day's equipment. He's this incredible photographer in Australia. I borrowed all of his cameras yeah. and I went to that wedding and I shot it. It was like 10 minutes from my house yeah. and I was terrified. And it's funny looking back because a wedding day is such a different experience for us now, but yeah. I was terrified and... By the time it got like around that I was shooting weddings, I actually had quite a lot of people ask me, and they would as well, they would say, we'll pay you 700, we'll pay you 750. And oh, I just thought that was so much money, <laughs> so much money. And this is Australian dollars, I thought it was so much money. I actually yeah. did get to shoot this wedding. Um, it was after I'd been doing it for a while, it was in January of 2014. And there's this beautiful couple, Caitlin and Ronit. I still remember it, I remember it so vividly, I don't know, like, for you, if you've shot a wedding or if you've, thinking back to one of your first shoots, they're the ones you really remember vividly, hey, because the emotions are high. I was so nervous. It was styled really well, but they were really in love. She was this beautiful little petite redhead and he was this tall, strong, outspoken Indian man. And <laughs> just the two of them together, it was so vibrant and dynamic. And they had it at this really coveted wedding venue um, in, in Australia. And so I photographed that. I actually submitted it to a wedding magazine because I thought, they're so cute, why not? And they actually said yes. And so that was kind of the beginning for Crazy. me of, I was already shooting photos for so long, but 2014 was really when my career began to take off. Mm. And I mean, to kind of bring it back to us, I always knew I would visit America. I'd gone when I was 10, but and I loved it, Disneyland, you know, when you attend the Grand Canyon in the snow. I have such vivid memories of when I was a child. But by the time I finished university, I wanted to move to the city of Sydney. I moved, didn't use my degree at all. I just became a barista or a barista. And I just took photos. I started doing social media for other wedding photographers. I was so immersed in the wedding photography industry. I had James Day, I mentioned him before. Josh McHale, Kevin Cooper, who works for Fujifilm, or he worked for Fujifilm, they taught me like everything they knew. I owe them so much mm -hmm. for their mentorship in my life. And I wanna give honor where honor is due. I didn't, I didn't learn all this from Google. I know some wedding photographers do, and that's incredible. Yeah. Maybe you found us from Google, but I had real people face to face, loving me, being intentional with me, and I'm so, so grateful for them. When I had the opportunity to come to America, it was actually because a friend of mine wanted me to come and be there for her wedding. She wanted me to shoot her wedding. And I felt unspeakably terrified. Can you imagine? I hadn't been doing it for that long and I was gonna be flown across the whole world to shoot this girl's wedding. 
But I said yes. And so yeah. instead of just coming out for her wedding, I was able to come out the summer before her autumn wedding. So I came out, I was so excited. Instagram was booming. Instagram was my life. It was my business. It was my friendships. Truly, true friendships came from Instagram in that year. Mm. And, you know, I came over. I met up with these beautiful people that I'd met on Instagram. Um, they welcomed me into their life, into their community. The, the girl, the bride, I met her. We had this incredible day in Yosemite shooting her engagement shoot, which I now attribute to all of my work in America. I just attribute it to that shoot. Trust yeah. me, if you can get an incredible portfolio shoot mm. in the area you want to shoot, for me it was the country of America, it just took off from there. Yeah. The day after we, I did that engagement shoot, we drove down Highway 1 through California and we showed up at Socality Live San Diego, which was a beautiful conference that was full of Instagrammers. And that's where I met you. Yeah.